Oh, hey there. Thanks for joining me for a new video today. In this one, I wanna talk about print-on-demand automation. I wanna talk about how I'm able to upload so many products to so many platforms. Not just that, I'm not gonna skip over the part where I create the designs that I then upload to print on demand products that I then upload to a bunch of platforms. Essentially what I wanna share with you in this video is why I can take a break in the middle of the day, shoot some pool, hang out with Murphy here who's following me around cause he's scared of the storm. But I'm gonna show you why I'm able to do that Basically because I can run my print on demand business on pretty much autopilot. I even give you, I'm gonna give you exactly what I did today, the full workflow, and I'm gonna give you time estimates for each step. I think you're really gonna like it. And as we head into the fourth quarter, again, the more online real estate you can occupy with products for sale, the more money you're gonna make in simple terms. So I'm gonna go jump on my computer and we can get started. Thank you so much again for joining me guys. I think you're really gonna like today's video. Real quick, let me introduce myself for new viewers. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.7 million on Amazon to date. I also have a free print on demand mini course delivered to your inbox via email, one lesson a day over eight days. I've got a print on demand Facebook community. I'd love to have you there. Lots of great discussion takes place daily in there. I also publish income reports. If you wanna follow my journey, that essentially started while I was working two jobs as a web developer and as a uh, teacher teaching web development at a local university and worked my way out of a nine to five that paid a nice comfortable six figure salary uh, because the passive income stuff that I talk about on this channel set me free. Please check out my income reports, subscribe to my channel. You can keep up with my new ones. Last but not least, I have a full print on demand course. I'm constantly expanding it. It's over 70 lectures. It's basically multiple courses rolled up into one. If you join and you take action, you will make your money back and then some this fourth quarter. I guarantee it. All right. Disclaimer, everything I'm going to show you in this video, I just wanted to get this out the way up front. It may seem like a little bit of an ad for some automation tools but just so you know just in case this is the first video you've ever seen on my channel like i'm sharing this stuff with you because i try to be transparent everything i show you in this video i actually did today right it's not even like in theory you could do no all of the stuff i'm going to show you is stuff that i did today it's 6 30 p.m since i woke up through now this is stuff that i've been working on it actually it took a lot less time than what it sounds like and i'm going to give you timestamps on everything as well so when I woke up and started working about 9 a.m., I created one design. Now, I created a design with the intent of it being able to be scaled out to multiple designs, meaning there's probably at least one variable in there. It's usually a word, all right? So I created one design at 9 a.m. After that, I used automatepod.com. I used that software to scale it out and essentially like swap in, swap out variables. Like I said, I designed this design with the intent of being able to swap out um, some some sort of a word, some sort of a name, like in this case, uh, mountain ranges, okay? So I used Automate POD and I used Canva or you can use Photopia.com. Photopia is free by the way, and it works extremely quickly. So at 9.15 a.m., I load up my design, I key in a text layer, and then I hit go. All right, then I just leave it alone. I can use my computer while it runs, no big deal, or I can step away and do whatever I wanna do. I probably was using my computer, let's be honest. I'm a computer addict, but after about 30 minutes, it had cranked out 500 designs, give or take. So you upload a spreadsheet and it just queues off of the spreadsheet variables. So if I wanted to make mountain ranges, no problem. By the way, the graphics you see in here are um, via uh, all sunsets. You guys know I love all sunsets. I'm not that great of a graphic designer. However, they are. And for $27, you get an annual license. You can grab these graphics and then just cut them into your designs. Literally drag, drop, and you're done. All right. So after about 30 minutes, it is about 945, and I've got 500 designs done. Now I'm going to trim 500 down to 400 because they don't all come out looking great. So I'm removing about 20% of them. All right, now it's Excel time. So that only took about five minutes to trim 100 designs. So I went from 500 to 400 and just got rid of the ones that didn't look great. And now it's about 9.50 a.m. And I'm jumping into Microsoft Excel where I'm going to catalog information about these designs. I'm gonna have to provide things like the image path where it's stored on my computer because when I run the upload automation later, it's gonna need that so that it can actually upload to these print on demand platforms. So you can't skip that part. Um, have to uh, input the title, the brand, 
the description, the keywords, etc. All those things that you're used to have to type in manually on platforms like Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, wherever. I need to make sure all of those are in my Excel spreadsheet. Now, here's the cool thing is I used to suck at Microsoft Excel. Then I realized if I was going to be serious about being a business owner, there's no way around learning Excel. And then I realized if I want to do this print on demand automation, I need to be even better at Excel. So the past couple of years of my life have been a journey of getting better and better at Microsoft Excel. And then I venture into like the world of finance, stock trading, et cetera. The better you are at Excel, uh, the better you're just going to be at, at life on the internet at least. So Microsoft Excel is not something that intimidates me anymore. However, I used to suck at it. And uh, one thing I will say is that with Excel, you can actually use formulas to make doing the uh, SEO, the keyword side of things, relatively easy and pain-free. However, if you don't really know what I'm talking about and you're not comfortable, um, you're, you're gonna face a little bit of a learning curve, but don't be deterred because you can't skip that step. All right, next, after about, let's say, 9.50 to 10.30. So it probably took 40 minutes to do those uh, spreadsheets because here's the thing. I like to split them up into 50 designs per spreadsheet, and I'm going to upload 50 per day to all the various platforms. We'll, we'll circle, circle back around to this later, but um, that means I'm going to take like 400 designs, divide by 50. I've got about eight now, eight different spreadsheets, 50 unique designs per takes a little bit of time with the spreadsheets. The first one takes the longest. After that, I have a, uh, a workflow that actually makes it pretty easy where I use the file names that are generated as my primary keywords and then I feed them into Microsoft Excel formulas. I know this probably sounds crazy right now, but um, if you've seen it, it, I promise it's not as bad as it sounds. It's actually pretty easy um, coming from me at least. If you, if you trust me, it can be easy. It's as easy as you make it or as hard as you make it. Anyways, up next, I'm taking these PNG designs and I'm converting them to Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP PDF formats so that I can sell them on Amazon KDP as low content books. Now, this is another thing that I haven't really talked about lately on my channel, but uh, it's stuff I've talked about in the past. I do have a playlist put together on my YouTube channel that will get you introduced to Amazon KDP. I also have a full course that talks about how I made $3,500 on Amazon KDP in my first 10 weeks as a KDP seller. Literally all I did, right hand to God, all I did was I took my existing Amazon merch and print on demand designs. I always call them Amazon merch designs because for me, like I'm always prioritizing Amazon merch as like the apex, as my top priority. And then everything else kind of trickles down from there because I think Amazon merch has the highest earnings potential. Therefore, everything for me, for my personal approach, is optimized around that. <clears throat> so I'm going to convert my PNG designs to KDP ready PDFs. And then we'll circle back around to KDP later about how the automation works. But now it that takes about 30 minutes, all right, to convert the PNGs to PDFs for KDP. And now it's about 11 a.m. So I'm two hours deep into this. Now I know you're thinking, Ryan, you have an easy button on the thumbnail and you're talking about automation. So far, it's two hours of manual work. I hear you but I'm doing a week's worth of print on demand that's gonna get me so much coverage on so many platforms. And it's only gonna take me a couple hours on a Monday morning. So hopefully you're seeing that, yeah, it's not it's not completely automated. I didn't just snap my fingers and uh, make it happen, but it's damn close to being fully automated. All right, so now I'm back in Excel. Very similar to what we talked about earlier, except this time we're doing it for KDP because we need these uploaders to work. And in order to work, we need to provide them with, you know, the path to the uh, PDF files. We need to provide like the interior path, the book cover path. We need to do the title. There's specific things you need to know about how to do title and subtitle for KDP, how to do keywords, etc. Don't skip KDP because it sounds difficult. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Go back in time to my uh, income reports from November, December last year. I started KDP in the fourth quarter and I was rewarded handsomely for doing so. So don't skip KDP guys. It's, it's just an equal part of the workflow as everything else. All right, next. So if I go back to, you saw, I took the t-shirt design, I turned it into, you know, the book icon for, for KDP books. Now it is, what, 11 a.m. So the KDP spreadsheets, guys, a lot easier than the print-on-demand spreadsheets, um, at least in my opinion. So that only took about 15 minutes to do. It's honestly not that hard. Uh, after that, I'm taking my t-shirt designs that we started with and turned into KDP. And now I'm converting them to become coffee mugs. Now you can convert them to become more than just coffee mugs. 
I'm just circling back to my personal workflow to what I actually did today. So this is going to be using POD Turbo and Gearbubble to sell coffee mugs on Amazon through Seller Central. This is very specific and if this is one of your first videos that you're watching on my channel, I apologize because I am jumping around a lot. There's obviously a lot to this puzzle, but again, it's a little bit of a learning curve up front and then you become comfortable with it and it becomes easier to kind of understand. But I'm trying to take one design or in this case, 400 designs, get them selling on as many viable products and marketplaces as possible and streamline the workflows and make it as easy as possible to do so. That is ultimately what we're doing here. So I'm taking the t-shirt designs, which I, I always save at 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels, and I need to convert them to 4,200 pixels by 3,600 pixels so that I can have them sold as coffee mugs through Gearbubble on Amazon. Now, I've got tools to streamline all of this. If it sounded like there's any manual processes for that sort of stuff where it's going to be like 400 designs and I'm going to have to resize and save me. No, I've got tools for all this stuff. And um, this one's easy. This is just PNG to PNG. There's a website called bulk resize, uh, bulk resize. Some, I forget what it's called. Anyways, I talked about it in my POD turbo video on my channel, which I'll put a link to right here in the corner of this video if you want to check that out. But essentially, I'm just re-rendering them. And then you guessed it back in Excel. We are back in Microsoft Excel for the third time today, generating new spreadsheets, this time for POD Turbo. POD Turbo spreadsheets, though, are uh, very easy, in my opinion, to generate. Uh, I don't make them any more complicated than they need to be. So they take me by far the least amount of time. So that only took me probably for 400 designs and I'm uploading 200 per batch, but I also make them available on white mugs and black mugs. So I'm getting four batches done, 800 products total. It only takes me probably 10 minutes to do those spreadsheets, if I'm being honest. So two minutes, 30 seconds per spreadsheet. Now it's time to upload. So this one, I'm not going to assign timestamps to because I kind of do this throughout the day whenever it suits me. But the ones that you probably care most about, I'm using Merch Titans Automation to upload 50 designs per day to Teespring, Zazzle, TeePublic, Spreadshirt, Printful. Um, by the way, I would not automate. I never did. I never automated Printful to Etsy. I always did that manually because I wanted my Etsy optimizations to be as good as possible for Etsy, especially because you pay per listing. Even though it's 20 cents, I don't want to cut any corners there. So the title specifically and the tag specifically, I always did manually. But Printful, I do to Bonanza and I do to Wish. Uh, so that's at least 50 and 50 more designs there on two new platforms. Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, which is the big draw to using Merch Titans automation. And then they are adding support for Society6 in the very near future. They're also relaunching the app to make it even more user-friendly and intuitive. So check that out. Um, if, I mean, just honestly, there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. Um, the new website's going live this week, maybe even tomorrow. Uh, so Merch Titans automation. And I run this thing while I'm in the gym getting big. So that's me in the gym. I had to show off the biceps real quick. But yeah, while I'm doing that, while I'm pumping iron, this stuff's just running in the background. Could not be easier, guys. Next, I'm running the Merch Titans KDP automation. It is in a separate app because it's a separate service and uses different file types. So it can't, it shouldn't really have been blended with the print on demand automation. So it makes sense that it's separate. Uh, and this one just kind of runs all day. What's cool about this one is you can just kind of minimize it and forget it's there. And I just batch 50 at a time and do about 500 books a week. Now, they say you can upload more than that. I just like to play it safe because I have seen errors in their um, upload counters that reset on a weekly basis on Sundays. So I play it safe, 500 new low content books a week. And you know, if you wanna learn more about KDP, guys, I have a full course. I've got the free content on my channel, so check that out. Don't skip KDP though. Uh, I've also got flying upload. Now, there's a lot of overlap here with what I mentioned with Merch Titans Automation, but then they also support platforms like Displate, uh, Shirty, Threadless, Fine Art America. So they're constantly expanding the platforms they support as well. And if you want to be in as many places as possible, um, it would make sense to also use flying upload in conjunction with Merch Titans Automation. Now, I get it. All of these are paid tools. I get these for free, so it's a lot easier for me to say, yeah, I just switch between the tools and hit a button and then let it upload. Um, but at the end of the day, like I've been using Merch Titans Automation the longest over a year now, never had any problems. I'm a creature of habit, so that is where I lean as my 
first preference. However, you know, I did do a print on demand upload automation tool comparison video about two weeks ago. Uh, I can put a link to that up here as well if you want to check that out, if you want to figure out which one is right for you. All right, and you thought I was done. I'm not done yet. We're circling back around to POD Turbo. So as you can see here, um, I went ahead, I imported four batches of 200 products per batch into POD Turbo. Uh, it does a lot of stuff on the server side. What's cool about POD Turbo is it doesn't run locally on your machine. You upload and it just kind of gives you status updates as it works throughout the day. So each one of those batches, I'm uploading two things. I'm uploading a CSV and I'm uploading the PNG images. So in this case, I only upload 100 PNGs and then I upload it to the white mugs and the black mugs, but it ends up being 200 products per push, which is the daily limit that they allow for Amazon Seller Central. This just runs while I'm asleep and then I wake up every day and I see this. I see POD Turbo, you uploaded 199 products yesterday. So I guess one of one of them failed. So instead of 200, it was 199. Um, anyways, yeah, I mean, how easy is that? So I wake up every morning, I get something like that and I got 200 new FBM print on demand products on Amazon Seller Central. Guys, I just wanted to tell you about what I did today. It only took two and a half hours maybe to get it all set up and that's a week's worth of uploads. It is a little bit of manual work for a lot of coverage. And again, in the fourth quarter, I'm gonna be rewarded for this. I might not be rewarded with immediate sales, but down the line, it's it's all gonna, you know, it's a numbers game. It doesn't have to be a numbers game, but again, if you're not gonna go the numbers game route, then you're also responsible for generating visibility for the fewer listings that you decide to create. And it's not like it can't be done, but you're gonna have to fork over money for advertising. You need to learn how to advertise which like anything else has a learning curve. I'm always going to be the one that keeps it straight, guys. Like you, you're going to have to learn. So I'm not trying to talk you out of doing that approach, but just know you got to front the money, which then all of a sudden print on demand requires an investment if you go that route. Whereas if you go my route, it's really, I don't think it requires an investment, just time, the time and effort. So anyways, thank you so much for watching till the end, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I'm actually thinking about doing more uh, tutorials as far as like actually getting into the the workflows, the actual details about how I run Merch Titans Automation, how I put the spreadsheets together, et cetera. If you're interested in seeing some of those things, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching till the end. If you haven't hit the like button already, I'd really appreciate it. If you did that, let the YouTube algorithm know that you liked the video. And if you're not subscribed, you made it this far in, you might as well hit that button. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.